اللهم صل على محمد النبي الامي وعلى اله وبارك وسلم تسليما actually this is uh, i planned uh, to make a series and uh, which i would be actually recording so um, we will start with uh, imam an-nawawi rahmatullah is uh, 40 hadith so the perspective and the background of 40 hadith is uh, there is some narration uh, narrated by uh, some of the scholars of uh, hadith uh, those uh, scholars of hadith has said that there are uh, if someone and it is reported from different uh, so, uh, different um, uh, imam of the hadith different muhaddithun that uh, Ali ibn Abu Talib radiallahu anhu, Abdullah ibn Masood radiallahu anhu, Muad ibn Jabal radiallahu anhu, Abu Darda radiallahu anhu, and uh, Umar ibn, uh, ibn Umar radiallahu anhu, and also Ibn Abbas, Anas ibn Malik, all of these Sahabis has reported that Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that whoever, whoever preserves for my nation or for my ummah 40 hadith, if someone is preserving 40 hadith, concerning its religion concerning the deen then allah will resurrect him on the day of judgment <coughs> among the jurists and scholars among the faqih and the ulama so if someone is memorizing if someone is preserving 40 hadith any of the 40 hadith then he is going to regard as uh, with and he will be resurrected or in the day of judgment allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be resurrecting him with the scholars in another narration it has been mentioned that allah will resurrect resurrect him as a jurist or scholar and in uh, abu darda radiallahu anhu's narration prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said i will i will be for him on the day of resurrection as an intercessor making uh, meaning that uh, prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam will be um, interceding him mean, meaning shafat doing shafat for him and uh, prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam will be a witness for him in the day of judgment so these are the uh, narrations uh, these are the uh, main things that is actually regarding <clears throat> the background of 40 hadith so different scholars has actually uh, did this effort and uh, through throughout the history all of uh, big muhaddithun who have narrated the hadith they have tried to do this uh, this activity and keep alive this uh, effort of hadith and especially uh, making uh, for, for number 40 numbers of hadith 40 in quantity 40 hadiths they they gathered and they preserved and they transmitted and they teach and taught they wrote the book especially on 40 hadith and these are called al arbaun and there are so many uh, uh, narrations and different imam has tried these things and echo uh, uh, most, some of the uh, most famous uh, one of the most famous and mostly read uh, Ar arbaun is the or the collection of 40 hadith is that has been authored by imam al nawabi rahmatullahi alayhi so, the, so this is Imam al nawawis background about 40 hadith and uh, we will be just talking about some of the special things that is, uh, that is actually uh, Imam al nawawi rahmatullahi alayhi had, had uh, uh, mentioned or what are the things that has been mentioned by Imam al nawawi in his collection of 40 hadith. So we will be starting uh, the 40 hadith, uh, the first of the 40 hadith. So we will be starting today the 40 uh, hadith number one in Imam al nawawis rahmatullah alayhi's uh, book al arbaun Or uh, so hadith number one is regarding as in Bukhari and Muslim and different hadith books. It starts with the famous hadith of our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam's hadith that is narrated by Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu so I'm reading the hadith عن أمير المؤمنين أبي حفص عمر بن الخطاب رضي الله عنه قال سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إنما الأعمال بالنيات وإنما لكل امرئ ما نوى 
فمن كانت هجرته إلى الله ورسوله ورسوله فهجرته إلى الله ورسوله ومن كانت هجرته لدنيا يصيبها أو امرأة ينكحها فهجرته إلى ما هاجر إليه. So on the authority of the commander of the faithful means Amirul Mu'minin. We we told or we call them Amirul Mu'minin. Uh, on the authority of Amirul Mu'minin. Abu Hafs Umar ibn al-Khattab radiyallahu Abu Hafs is his kunya or his uh, laqab uh, some like uh, we call uh, Abu Bakr radiyallahu Abu Bakr radiyallahu his name his real name is not Abd Abu Bakr radiyallahu his his real name was Abdullah ibn Uthman but we call him Abu Bakr uh, similarly Umar ibn al-Khattab radiyallahu has uh, this title or you can say kunya in Arabic it is called kunya his name is Abu Hafs like Imam Abu Hanifa rahmatullah alayhi. his kunya was Abu Hanifa but his real name is Nu'man ibn Thabit so similarly here uh, Abu Hafs Umar ibn al-Khattab radiyallahu anhu said I heard messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam saying innama al-a'malu bin niyat deeds are only by intentions and every man shall have only what he intended. So one whose hijrah was to Allah and his messenger, his, his hijrah was to Allah and messengers. But one whose hijrah was to achieve a worldly aim or to, to a woman he would marry, then his hijrah was to that for which he immigrated. This is the hadith. Uh, narrated by Imam al-Bukhari and Imam Muslim and also this hadith has been uh, gathered in the uh, in number one in the book of uh, 40 hadith of Imam and nawawi rahmatullahi alayhi. So just a couple of uh, important things here. So all of the deeds are based on niyat. So we will be focusing on our niyat that uh, our niyat should be pure that we will be doing everything for uh, the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that if someone is making hijrah from uh, from Medina to Makkah uh, sorry Makkah to Medina and if he is making hijrah for uh, for Allah and his Rasul means to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his Rasul then then his hijrah will be regarded for that and if he is making hijrah for something worldly benefit or some niyah that he will be making uh, marrying some woman uh, then his hijrah will be for that for which he has intended so this is the narration that has been recorded by several number numerous number of uh, muhaddithun and this is uh, uh, also narrated as number one in al arbaun and nawabi so during the period uh, when many of the believers were giving up their families and properties to immigrate uh, to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Medina for the cause of Islam, a man whose aim it was to marry a woman in the city named Umm Qais made the same journey. So one guy, he, uh, he wanted to marry a woman in, the city, in that city uh, whose name, the woman's name was Umm Qais. So she wanted to go, uh, he wanted to go and marry her. So Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, that if uh, when uh, that's why he said that if he is immigrating or migrating for uh, marrying some woman then his hijrah will be uh, for that purpose and then when the reason of hijrah become evident he call he was called the immigrant of Ummekais. so he was not called as uh, he was not called as uh, the uh, immigrant he was called as an immigrant of Umm Qais because he did hijrah for Umm Qais so he didn't make hijrah for Rasulullah or, uh, or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's pleasure so that man has been called as uh, immigrant or muhajir of Umm Qais so this was clear example of single action for which many worldly motivation were possible as well as the Islamic one therefore it was it was cited by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as a standard by which to measure every deed and extent of the acceptability to Allah. That meaning that whenever we are doing any of our good deeds, then this is the base. Niyah is the base. If the niyah is good, then 
everything of our good deed will be accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we are starting this uh, famous book of Imam an nawawi rahmatullah alayhi. And I'm intending that uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all of us uh, among the uh, pious uh, people who has followed the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's uh, footstep and his sahaba's footstep. That's why we are trying to start this uh, noble journey of 40 hadith in this uh, COVID-19 lockdown period. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all of our efforts. So we have covered in short the hadith number one today and we will be trying to go uh, one hadith or one or two hadith every day and we will be discussing uh, sequentially uh, this uh, uh, Imam an nawawi rahmatullah's 40 hadith. So inshallah, I will be also sharing the book in the uh, in, in our group. And inshallah, please uh, keep on continuing and following this uh, trend. And uh, we will be focusing in hadith number two tomorrow, inshallah. Jazakumullah khairan, brothers, uh, for being with me. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept. Subhanallah, bihamdi, subhanallah, Allahumma, wa bihamdika, astaghfiruka, wa atubu ilayk. Jazakumullah khairan.